Hello and welcome to another video of DV360 course. In this video, we are going to discuss about account setup process. Basically, how to account set up an account on DV360 because there's a lot of confusion. I will tell you everything about account setup process because some people or companies, they want to move to DV360. Somebody recommended them, but they don't have any idea how to open the account. What is a good deal from a reseller? What's not a good deal? It's very, very important if you want to start it in a company or if you're going for an interview, they might ask you, okay, we are hiring you for programmatic role what do you know about the landscape the first thing you need to understand is an individual cannot open a dv360 account for example if you want to open a google ads account or meta ads account or tiktok ads account you go to google you search for tiktok ads manager facebook ads manager or google ads manager you go ahead you sign up and create an account and you can go ahead add a credit card and start your campaigns but that's not how dv360 accounts work you cannot an end user cannot open an account for now before what used to happen is if you wanted to open a dv360 account you would go to google and um, they used to provide these seats so a dv360 partner account is basically sometimes called an seat dv360 seat so google used to create this ideally google would ask you if you had five hundred thousand dollars spent on your google ads account then you would reach out to your account manager and tell them we need a dv360 account and they would connect you to the relevant team and they would basically open a seat for you but now that process is completely gone it's only done through resellers now there are some certain authorized resellers which google they have to do certifications apply for being a reseller google checks a lot of details about them about their team and their experience and all then they become an authorized reseller only these companies can open a dv360 seat id for you now the good thing is with these resellers these uh, limits like five hundred thousand dollars and all this is gone most of the resellers can open a seat id or dv360 account for you without any commitment or threshold even if you have zero spends you have a registered company you reach out to them they can open an account for you even resellers if you are an individual end user you reach out to them say i want a dv360 account they will not open it for you you need to have a registered company and only then they will open an account for you now to get connected with any reseller this is the website i'll put this link in the description as well you basically go to this website and you can um, basically this is the website you can enter uh, a partner name if you already know or you can enter region or country or advertising partner it will show you for example in united arab emirates these are uh, the resellers available from google side you can click on any of these check their details about their company or whatever and just reach out to them uh, this is their contact details and ask them we want to open a dv360 account if they are not responding or you want suggestions on who is the best one you can reach out to us and we can guide you as well because we have links with these resellers and we can help you to get an account but there's something very important to understand now when you reach out to these resellers some of them are authorized who are listed on the website of google but you will find some companies who can tell you that we will open an account for you which are not authorized resellers the difference is this one this is this process is basically a google compliant way because they're there standard partners and what you what happens is you own the account when you open it with an authorized reseller you own the account you have 100 percent data ownership you have portability as well for example all the data in your account you own that data and you have portability as well for example the reseller says you know what once we open an account for you you have one year commitment with us some say two year commitment but after that if you want to change a reseller you can move your account they will give you access and you can port that account and go to another reseller it's transparent it has transparent pricing there are no markups there are no hidden fees you basically have visibility to everything and you have full access so the account type you they create for you is called partner account under which you have a lot of advertisers always remember this it's called a partner account on the other hand the other companies who are not authorized i have seen some companies who basically tell you we will open an account for you but it's not compliant you do not own the account or data because what they do is they create an advertiser account for you not a partner account a partner is basically you can create multiple advertiser accounts for them they have the partner account they create advertiser accounts for you basically in almost all cases you have no portability you cannot move that advertiser account and you have limited access so always prefer this one and not this one uh, when it comes to pricing for using dv360 any kind of campaigns you run there is a technology fees there is a tech fees which google charges these authorized 
uh, partners and they charge a bit over that. So for example, exchange transactions, open auction, private auction, and preferred deals when you have these kind of campaigns, Google generally charges them, let's say 9, 10 or 11% and these resellers charge you 11 to 13%. So for example, if you have an open auction campaign running on DV360, you will always pay 11 to 13% fee. This is a good fee. Some resellers might tell you we charge 15%. That's a very high rate a decent rate 11 to 13 percent is a good rate if you are running let's say programmatic guaranteed or true view campaigns on dv360 the authorized reseller can charge you somewhere between four to six is a good rate if somebody is charging more than that that's a very high rate one very important thing to understand here is this is not a kind of an additional fee so for example if you run a true view campaign on google ads you still pay uh, this fees so if you run a youtube campaign on google ads and you run on dv360 even including this fee you will end up paying the same because on Google Ads you don't have visibility on how much Google is charging you as tech fees so here you basically there is a breakdown but don't worry if you are running a YouTube campaign for example you will still pay the same thing for example if you are running an open auction campaign on Google Ads same targeting and you are doing the same targeting on DV360 at the end you based on the impressions you will exactly pay the same amount but here it's just there is a breakdown and whenever you are negotiating with a reseller for an account, make sure that they have these clauses that, that you have portability. Sometimes they'll say only after one year, one and a half year, which is okay. And you have the data ownership and most of the resellers will provide you initial training or handholding on managed service. Meaning when they create an account for you, they'll give you a bit of training about how to use the account. Or in certain cases, they will say initially for two campaigns or three months, we will help you to set up the campaign or they can say we will manage the campaigns altogether. So until you get comfortable with this tool and that's all for this video in the next few videos we'll discuss about what are the benefits of dv360 why do even people companies and brands move to dv360 when they already have google ads meta ads and all these platforms but that's all for this video thank you so much and i will see you in the next one